right of one and welcome back to season 16 of AOR F2 on Xbox One and we're here today then for the 11th round of the season the Hungarian Grand Prix and we're here on our best qualifying lap now then coming here off the back then of what I think was next place finish in Hockenheim a little like less than what I was hoping for in that race but you know still some uh, well some points on the board so uh, yeah we'll take those in and you know try and keep sort of our sort of point scoring momentum going and I think it's a good track that well for us to be coming to for that to continue because it is a track that I do enjoy it's one that uh, if you usually have some pretty good fortune at and usually have some decent pace at I wasn't really sure like going into this one how quick I'd be but you know sort of since the Force Indies have left I think a lot of people are sort of you know sort of seeing it as their opportunity to you know get some good results and I think sort of all through the field, you know, people can sort of like set their targets a bit higher now. So I guess that is certainly an upside to them both leaving, even if it has sort of, sort of depleted, you know, the numbers a bit. So we'll have to see then how we can do here today then. As we are coming to the end then of our final qualifying lap now, then we're in 14th place at the moment. So I want to improve on that. As we come to the line then, we actually go up to 4th place then. And in the end, it's 5th, but still, that is. Uh, well, a great qualifying for us, and far better than we've had at any point this season. Uh, we've got infamous plays on Poland from Melanie, Verstappen and then Peltry in front of us. LGS starting in 12th, but yeah, that is our best qualifying since USA Season 14. In a while that is, so yeah, a long time since we've been this high up on the grid. We'll have to hopefully convert it then in the race, and we're going to go there now. We're here for race day then, just outside Budapest at the Hungaro Ring for round 11 of the season then the Hungarian Grand Prix and it's looking like it's going to be clear skies for today then it was uh, sunny and qualifying as well and yeah 27 degrees very sunny day here then it doesn't look like the weather's going to be playing any part at all as we're here then for the 25th time in Hungary uh, sort of in our league race in tenure and it is actually our most successful circuit on the calendar then we've had eight wins here and well, 15 podiums with eight wins, including that. We've had eight wins at Suzuka as well, but not that many podiums. So, yeah, this is our most successful track. And, uh, yeah, we've done well here in both seasons of Air War so far with points finishes in both of them. So hopefully we can make it three uh, this season then. As we take a look then at the circuit, and it is 2.7 miles, 14 corners, very tight and twisty uh, track, not a lot of straights and to get whilst the overtaking opportunities and a few and far between but uh, yeah certainly some some overtaken opportunities and particularly into turn one then DRS zone the heaviest braking zone on the uh, track then up the inside or, or around the outside you can make moves done and also if you get a good run out of there you can uh, yeah, go for moves in into turn two it is a DRS zone so there is a chance for overtaking but apart from that it is quite hard to get moves done as we found out in the Apollo League then um, yeah, the rest of the track then, not ideal for overtaking our shoesies as it is very much one way in a lot of other places. But yeah, we've got the ultra soft tyres then, the soft tyres and the mediums, but the ultra soft really uh, not a good race tyre here at all. So it's going to be a soft tyres and the mediums that we are running with today then. As um, yeah, we should be able to do that quite comfortably at a race. It's really just a case of uh, what lap to come in really do we try and go for an undercut or you know do we uh, you know try and have fresh mediums sort of towards the end of the race but uh, yeah we'll have to wait and see then really how the race pans out as we're, we're sort of in very unfamiliar territory has to be said up this high on the grid and it has been yeah as I said before a very very long time since we've been in this sort of position so yeah so it's only a bit of pressure I think really to you know convert it now but can see literally everyone except for Hayden is on the soft tyres and Hayden is on the mediums. So yeah, looking like pretty much everyone on the grid is going to be doing the same strategy here today then. As yeah, we're coming now then to the grid. Hopefully get a good start here then. And uh, yeah, that also has that nicely for uh, yeah, this first stint of the race as everyone is now filing onto the grid. And yep, the lights are coming on now. Away we go then, and it wasn't the best start to be honest with you there. We were a, bit, a little bit slow away from the line there, and we've got X Power then uh, looking to pass it then. We've got a nice gap in front of us then, which we can you know go into, but 
we've actually locked up a bit there, breaks a little bit too late and uh, yep, well that's qualifying <laughs> in nearly two seasons and we've almost immediately bottled it then with uh, B for our next car going through but uh, still in a decent position and seventh position but uh, yeah we've really just uh, thrown away two positions there which is quite frustrating but um, yeah we've just got to try and stick with the uh, the front six now then and uh, yeah we, we have the pace in qualifying so hopefully we will in, in the race as well then as we've got B for our next car then side by side in front of us then but uh, into the chicane, in fact, B for goes at the inside of Peldry, the two Salvers go spinning off, and wow, X Power and myself had to uh, slow down there to avoid uh, collecting that, and uh, yeah, it's already uh, given the front three a bit of a gap then, but we are back up to fifth place then, so yeah, our mistake into the first corner then wasn't as bad as it could have been then, as we are going to, you know, be back in fifth position, and we are on the back then of X Power, who we do have a good run then, on lap four, we're going to Try and go for the overtake then into the first corner. And yeah, we're through then up the inside. He is still there though on the outside. We have to try and stay ahead if we can then. We do have DRS, but he will still be very close into turn two. Uh, into the corner then we do get tap round. We're trying to save it. We get hit again there by I think Rosberg. And uh, luckily we've got away with that one, but uh, yeah, it's all piling up behind us then. It's, oh yes, it's, it's only bad for him for this then, so that's good for us then. But, well, what's not good for us is that we're now a long way off this podium battle and any chance of a podium here then is pretty much gone unless one of them gets a load, load of penalties or as an instant. But, um, yeah, we're looking then to get away with that instant then. Got tapped round there by X-Power, but, uh, yeah, luckily nothing came of it. And um, on to lap 12 now then where Dralex has come through the field then from. Not, I'm not sure where he started, but he's got a good run on this end. Into turn one, we had to go defensive there and we just about managed to maintain our position then and stay in, well, where's now P3 because I think Melanie paired there before us. So uh, we're up into the podium places then temporarily because we're still defending this position then for Andralex and it looks like we have just about managed to maintain it. We do have a good run now at turn three, but turn four is very difficult to overtake, especially on the outside there. So uh, yeah, we had that one covered, uh, fortunately. So uh, we're going to skip now then to later on in that lap where at this point I was just trying to avoid an undercut half an hour so uh, I decided to pit there then could have maybe done a lap or two more but I felt that that was uh, you know probably the best time to pit then just to avoid getting undercut so when we come then for the medium tyres I don't think there's going to be much risk of us coming out into traffic so um, yeah that is going to play into our hands hopefully then and it's just going to be a case of hopefully getting the uh, Tie that to temperature nice and quickly, and yeah, uh, well, hopefully we won't get overcut then. So yeah, I don't really know like if there is like an opportunity or not to undercut or overcut if there's like a big advantage to one or the other. But again, yeah, it's still very close then with Dralex only a lap later. So I think it's very much down to pace, I guess. But yeah, we just not managed to edge out Dralex there then, and yeah, we maintain our position over him. Then another lap later, we have got Frangus then coming out of the pits, and he is just in front of us, in fact, so he has actually made the overcut work. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to try and sort of mug him if we can on those cold tyres. Uh, we do get a great run in out of the first corner. We're going to go round the outside into turn two. He does break very late, though, so, and we saw that, so we're going to try and do a switch back here then, and it works out very well for us then. We're going to leave as much space as we can through turn three, and on my screen, he understood into us and nearly hit the wall, so. Yeah, I don't think that was what happened on his screen, but I think just desync there because, um, yeah, on my footage there, you can see I left as much space as I could, but, um, yeah, unfortunately just contact, but luckily we got away with it, no crashes, so, uh, yeah, that was very good for us then. And honestly, not a lot happened after that, it was a very tense race, but just not a lot happening because, yeah, I just had to just keep as much of a gap as I could really to stop Frangish getting close enough with the DRS to actually make a move into turn one so yeah, it was very tense and yeah I couldn't afford to make any mistakes or get any penalties but uh, yeah it was very sort of nervy uh, final 15 laps or so uh, but we did actually catch up to Manny so that was sort of taking the nerves off a little bit because I could sort of just focus on catching him but I think Manny was just trying to avoid getting any penalties here so he like he knew he had a big gap to fall back on so uh, yeah, I think that was partly what it was, but nonetheless then, we're going to cross the line and take our best for a lot of the season and a fourth place finish, so, um, yeah, second half of the race wasn't, like, 
that exciting to watch, but it's sort of very tense to be like him because we did have Frangish and Dralix who were right on our tail for most of it and um yeah, if they'd got like close enough with DRS and like we made like one mistake then they would definitely have been on us. But uh yeah, lucky that wasn't the case then. And yeah, we got our best result of the season then in fourth. So yeah, well done Tim from us plays then on the win with Verstappen in second and Mullaney in third. Extending his championship lead, I think. And looking down then, it's a double points finish then for Ferrari, which I want to say has happened so far, but I'm struggling to think of when it has. But yeah, well done to our teammate then on picking up some points there in ninth. And yeah, unfortunately I didn't actually save the standings for a few races, unfortunately, so I don't have them at this point. But I think we we're up to like ninth or tenth. Obviously we did get in a couple of places with the Force Indians going off the standings, so... We were in the top 10 at this point, I'm not sure if we're up into about 8th or 9th position at this point though. So, um, yeah, hopefully you got, well I will have the standings from, I think like Italy, I think, onwards. So, yeah, sorry that you won't be seeing them for a few races, but, uh, yeah, nonetheless then, hope you enjoy this one, leave like we did. I'll see you next time for the Belgian Grand Prix. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.